I just thought I could take you with me on a little walk this evening out here in the forest. See what it looks like here. Now, as you can see here, those brooks and streams are all dried up. There is a little bit of water here, but not much. It's very dry here in the forest just now. We had loads of forest fires. A lot of people that don't have any respect for um, how dry it is out in the forests now. And they take with them sausages and, you know, this, uh, I don't know what you call it in English, grill, we say here. They cook the food out in the forest with open fire and then walk away from the fire and then it starts to burn. But people get quite big fines for that now if they can get hold of them. So we didn't have any good rain since the snow left us in the end of April. But the forecast says we're going to get a couple of millimeters tomorrow. But that won't be enough to uh, get rid of the hazard with the forest fires here. But we just don't know. They haven't been so clever to forecast the weather, so, uh, you know, in the last years. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me that that is getting old, but I think the forecast in these new times are hopeless. They try to predict the weather a couple of days ahead, but they very often are wrong. So we have a saying here now that the best way to find out what kind of a weather there is outside is to step outside and have a look at it and feel if it's raining or not. I'll be quiet a little bit now, so you can hear the birds around here. I can't stand quite too long because there's a lot so gnats and mosquitoes here that want my blood. Oh, there's some ants nest <clears throat> the winter we had here you couldn't you couldn't uh, use the car this way or any anything because there was so much timber that had uh, fallen down over the road because the big amounts of snow we had. So we had a couple of meters. As 
it's about six, seven feet. It was a tough winter. And I'm happy it's all over now. Now in the middle of the move I'm doing now these days, it's quite nice just to have a walk in the forest like this. So this is just five minutes away from where I live. Oh, there's another ant's nest. This one is quite huge. They often don't get that big because we've got the badgers and the woodpeckers that destroy them. And there's a little lake. I will try to walk around this one just to show you what it looks like here. Yeah. Here you can see the remains of trees that fell over the road during the winter here. I can cut a couple of spoons from that one there as well spoons and bowls don't think there will be any action on this trip just me chatting around but it's kind of nice of you to follow me okay I know something I can show you there was a big black woodpecker here this winter that done an awesome job picking its way into this big big tree here Look at that. Just look how big these holes are. I'll put my hand in so you can see how big these are. And inside this tree, you got these wood ants that make their nests in these uh, stems. And the woodpeckers, you know, make these big holes to, you know, get a hold of them inside here during the winter when there's very little um, other food to get. But this is awesome. Now, Just brush off the ticks here if there were any. Once there was a homestead up here, but the nature has taken it has taken it back. And here you can see loads of these trees that fell over the road. So I had to cut the tops off them. All the way along here. A lot of money lost for the forest owners here. I lost a lot of timber this winter. I 
I have put the stabilizer on this on this um, phone I use, so I hope you don't get too dizzy. There's a tall pine, hardly any branches left on it. Probably the snow that took them. I got this pine tree just beside my house, quite a big one. And um, a couple of times when I was outside shuffling or something, I could watch the branches just snap straight off because of the weight of the snow. Quite cool. Sometimes it, sometimes, you know, when you ain't aware of it, they make a lot of noise and you can shit yourself <laughs> because of the, you know, loud sound. Okay. Oh, it's very, very dry here. I can feel it is quite much easier to walk now than last year. I lost a good amount of weight this winter and I can feel I'm lighter on my feet. That's a good feeling. I love these walks. Now, now in the evening. Where I'm walking now, this was flooded with uh, seawater during the uh, glacial age. So we are about hmm, 100 meters above sea level. There you can see this little lake I'm walking around. <clears throat> there you can see again. I've noticed on these older vids of mine, there has been quite a lot of these, what do you call it, trolls and haters. <laughs> I just laugh at them. They make me laugh. I just wonder how or why anyone would make themselves so small and tiny. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I'm far too old to get angry or sad about it. As Clint Eastwood said, I'm too old to that. 
fucking shit or something like that. I agree with you. Okay. Here you can see the rivers, uh, the river has dried out. It's completely dry. I've never seen this before here. Huh. Usually I couldn't have been talking here because the sound of the stream here would have been so loud that you wouldn't hear what I was talking about. I don't know if you like this kind of leads. I'm just walking around, talking, chatting, a lot of rubbish, unscripted things that just pop now out of my mind. Now I won't be walking down there because I don't want all these ticks on me. and use a half an hour to pick my body clean for these buggers. I know some people that got very, very sick from them as well. But I don't know if it, if it was this Lyme disease. Is it called that? Lyme, yes. Borre what we call the Borrelia here and I don't know what that will be in English and this here <laughs> I'll, I'll say the name of this now a little further down here this is a start of a place that's called Troll Vam also Troll Lake and I think up in that mountain there, hmm, you never know, they could live or sleep a troll up there in that forest. And maybe one day it will wake up and start chasing the people. <laughs> Anyhow. Beautiful here. I need to try fishing here. I've been thinking of that for many years now. And there you can see the beaver has collected some leaves. Huh. There's quite a lot of beer, beaver here. And you can hear the bumblebees around me here. What do you call those plants here in English? They call them bringbar here in Norwegian. Ah. I should have known. But I can't remember it. I can't remember it. There's a couple of trouts with the noses above the surface here. Okay, I didn't have more memory here on this phone, so I can't film so much more here. But I hope you enjoyed this little trip here.
And until next time I see you again. Have a nice time out there. Mm -hmm. Bye.